beautiful people doing? Good morning, sire. Good morning, Zazu. <laughs> Another beautiful day. How you people doing? Look, the Wii U is still winning, people. Wii U is still winning. Wii U has all angles of gaming covered. Whatever direction Nintendo is trying to go in, Wii U has that covered. Wii U is designed to pull everybody out to hold that area with the Switch. Okay? That's all angles. You know, Nintendo talking about, oh, it was, they were trying to be different. They were trying to do gaming on the go. They were trying to go in a different direction. Wii U had that covered. Wii U is portable. So the Wii U just needs a refresh. It needs a, it needs, what? There's only four things the GameCube, I mean, there's only four things the Wii U is really missing. Four things. It needs to be backwards com compatible with GameCube physically and digitally, right? That means it needs to be in the eShop. The Wii U is missing a SSD card port. It's missing ray tracing. And it's missing teraflops. The Wii U is the real deal, people. Nintendo should have never built the Switch. Okay? They created they created this lie saying it was sales, marketing, and commercial failure. But that's not what's happened. But that's not what happened to the Wii U. What the Wii U was really facing was lies, laziness, and excuses. I'm gonna say this again. What the Wii U was really facing was lies, laziness, and excuses. Okay. Because CDs are the standard for video games, not cartridges, not SD cards, and not floppy disk. CDs. Okay infrastructure was in place with the Wii U so the Wii U just needs to be refreshed I'm gonna say this again what the Wii U is really missing it needs to be backwards compatible with GameCube physically and digitally it's missing a solid state drive uh, externally it needs a solid state uh, uh, port on the back of the Wii U and it's missing ray tracing and teraflops Wii U has all angles of gaming covered all of it one of, the, one, of the, one of the folders on the Wii U right now could be for Blu-ray and DVD apps. So you can play Blu-ray and DVD on the Wii U. The console is that good. Every, free, every feature on the Wii U right now is still current. People need all those features. People are using them. The Miiverse can, the Miiverse can never be dead because people love art. The eShop needs to be improved. You can't get rid of the virtual console. You can't get rid of the Miiverse. Of course, there's the internet. You can't get rid of the internet. You need the internet. You know, but you can look up every internet browser on the Wii U except for uh, Safari. Except for Safari, uh, Apple Internet Search Engine. Okay, that's up. That we can't get rid of it. So the Wii U is still current. We need notifications. Can't get rid of it. You need download management. You need Wii U chat for online play. You can't get rid of it. <laughs> That's the Wii. We're missing the GameCube. <laughs> you need your daily logs. You can't get rid of it. I mean, we got what? Crunchyroll app on here? You can't get rid of Netflix. You can't get rid of YouTube. We need it. You can't get rid of Amazon. We need it. You can't get rid of Hulu. Wii U at all angles of gaming color co uh, covered. So building the Switch was a complete waste of time. And all the Switch did was landed Nintendo in court. Which brings me to this article. Listen to this. <laughs> I'm just going to read one paragraph of this. Listen to this. Canadian firm files first class action lawsuit against Nintendo over Joy-Con drift. Okay. It says here, Nintendo failed to mention an important fact in a representation made to a customer. That's the reason. And, and, here's, the, and here's, why, here's, here, here's why they filed it. Listen to this. Nintendo is facing yet another class action lawsuit for Joy-Con Drift. On the 15th January, Canadian firm Lambert Advocate Inc. filed an application to be permitted to bring to a class action suit against Nintendo in a bid to obtain a compensation for all Quebec consumers who bought the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Lite gaming system as well as the Joy-Cons and Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Stop right there. What did I tell you guys about the Switch? That building the Switch was a waste of time. The Wii U had everything covered. 
and there is only four things the Wii U is missing. It needs to be backwards compatible with GameCube physically and digitally. <laughs> it needs a solid state drive port externally on the back of the Wii U. It needs race tracing and um, teraflops. The Wii U had everything covered. There was no need to build a switch. The Wii U had all angles covered, everything covered. So what the Wii U was facing, it needed some more, a new motherboard with more CPU power, more RAM, and use the same video card. They did not need NVIDIA. Nintendo used NVIDIA as a publicity stunt to buy to, to, to build a Switch. Here, here, here's the, uh, mo there's no such thing as a Mario Maker 2. Mario Maker is so big. It's like a live service game. So what you do, since people were so busy building levels, you build an expansion and add on top of what you already have, okay? Mario Maker is a live service game. That Super Mario 3D All-Star should have never been built because once the Wii U was backwards compatible with GameCube, you would have had Super Mario Sunshine. You already got the Nintendo 64 with Mario 64 in the virtual console. And then you got Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 on the Wii in the virtual console. Building that Mario 3D All-Star was a waste of time. That Super Mario uh, 3D World should have never been built because the Wii and the Wii U's eShop is 20 bucks, and then all you had to do was add was add uh, add, add uh, Bowser's Fury. Building the Switch was a waste of time, man, a complete waste. And this is like Nintendo's our uh, fifth, sixth, or seventh, seventh, uh, seventh uh, lawsuit. Okay, it's a waste. It's a waste, okay? So, built, um, Nintendo should have never built the Switch. They should have stayed with the Wii U. Let me show you something real quick before I end this video. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. This is this is Zelda, right? This is Zelda. So, only thing that's missing from here is Wind Waker and Ocarina of Time uh, Master Quest. Okay. Okay, where's Mario? Let me show you here. This is Mario. So, so, all we need, all we needed, this is Super Mario 3D World. All we're missing is B Bowser's Fury. So, when I told you that they held out on the Wii U, stonewall the Wii U, cursed it, condemned it, stalled the Wii U out, waited out, and then used the sales and marketing argument commercial failure. That's what they did to the Wii U. It had nothing to do with sales, marketing, and commercial failure, okay? The Wii U was dealing with lies, laziness, and excuses, okay? That's what's going, that's what's going on here, okay? So, building the switch, building the, building the, uh, Billing the, uh, billing, billing, billing the switch was a waste of time, man. Billing, billing the switch was a complete waste of time, man. A complete waste. The Wii U had the Nintendo fan base needs met. And all they had to do was refresh the console one time and that was it. And continue using it. And because, we di because they did, because they did, now the Nintendo fans are suffering. Okay? So, anyway... You know what I'm saying? Like I, like I told you guys before, what is the difference between Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? It is the same game a DLC for the Wii U. Okay? Same game. You know, Breath of the Wild is best, is best played on the Wii U because of the Wii U tablet. So the Switch should have never been built. Period. And all this is missing is the GameCube. It's missing the GameCube. And then you can add the... Uh, you can add like the Panasonic 3DO, the Atari Jaguar, the Turbo Graphics. And so you can add uh, Neo Geo, the cartridge and CD games to the virtual console. You can add the Sega Genesis, Sega CD, Sega 32X, Sega Saturn, and even the Dreamcast to the, to the virtual console plus the arcade. So the Wii U is the, re the real deal. You can't kill the console. It cannot be killed. You can try, but you're going to feel miserably. Okay, so going against it, going against this, going against this console is a big no-no, man. And um, Nintendo is suffering, man. 
They are suffering. You know, you can't, you can't kill the internet, man. You can't kill it. This console is a real deal, and then because this console didn't get the refresh it was supposed to, they were missing out on, we missed out on four Star Wars games, going on five. You can't kill this console, man. Nintendo can try, but they're going to have to go back to it. So, if they build another Switch, they're going to run into the same problems like they did with the like the, 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 the previous three. You know, they're going to run into problems. They need to come back to this, and they need to bring back, of course, the Miiverse, because the Miiverse needs a coloring option, a limited text, emojis, memes. They're going to have to come back to this, man. They got to. They got to come back to it. <laughs> They got to come back to the, they got to come back to this. Okay? They got to come back to it. So the Wii U is still winning people. And I'm going to leave a link in the description box for this article, man. For this article that I found today, man. It's 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 sad to see Nintendo going down this road, but the fans on the Miiverse tried to warn them, but they didn't want to listen, but now they're paying for it. But anyway, uh nice talking to you beautiful people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Or Dark Side. Come. Peace.